I have two kids. <laughs> I try to be a better person around my kids. I really do. I try to uh, change my behavior around them. Like, I have rules in my house. They all apply to me. Like, I have a rule that I don't curse around my kids. It's a rule. It does happen. You know, sometimes you have a stressful moment and you're with your kids, so you say something by mistake. Like one time I was making dinner for my kids and I gave my daughter a bowl of soup and I said, uh, here's your fucking soup. <laughs> but, uh, you can see how that was a tough situation. You're supposed to teach your kids right from wrong. I don't know, it's confusing, you know? Some people raise their kids religiously, and that kind of covers it. They kind of go, all this, do that. I'm not raising my kids religiously, because I don't feel like it. Just get up on a Sunday, fuck that. Fuck that. Let your souls rot, kids. I don't care, I'm not getting it. Daddy, who's Jesus? None of your business, go back to bed. But my kids, you know, they're living in the world and there's a lot of religion in the world, so you do have to teach your kids, if you're not raising them religiously, you do have to teach them about religion, you know? I always tell my kids the same thing. I tell them that there are many religions in the world and they're all equal, but the Christians are the main one. That's what I tell them. The Christians won, they're the winners, so act accordingly. Congratulate Christians when you meet them because they won the world. And it's true. It's true. We love to tell each other, ourselves, like, every religion is exactly... No, no, they're not. The Christians won everything a long time ago. If you don't believe me, let me ask you a question. What year is it? I mean, come on. What year is it? according to the entire human race. And why? What year is it? Anybody, sir, just yell out the year. Thank you, 20, 2016. No, it's 20, <laughs> that's right. It's 2017. What is that? That's a number. It's not just any number. It must be a very important number because we're counting to it in unison as a species. For thousands of years, we've been going one, Two, three, come on everybody, four, and now come on Africa, five, six. What is this number? We're, we're counting the days since what? Since there was ever people or since the sun did a bl 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 something? <laughs> Not at all. It's been 2,017 years since what? Anybody, yell it out. Christ. Since, yes, Christ! <laughs> Christ! That's right. It's been 2,017 years since Christ! <laughs> Jesus! We are counting the days since Jesus, together. Which makes sense if you're Christian, but what the fuck are the rest of us doing? <laughs> Jesus was here, Jesus was here, Jesus was here. Everybody, scientists, historians, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus plus two, Jesus plus three. Jesus plus four. Jesus plus 2,017 years, four months, and three days is when your license expires. <laughs> how is that not a win for the Christians? How, that is, how is that not a complete win? That's not a Monday off in October. That's, there was no time before Jesus. And the whole world went, okay, sure. And then somebody was like, what about the years before him? 
There were billions, I mean, infinity. Those go backwards. <laughs> you want us to measure most of history backwards? To accommodate one religion? Uh-huh. All right, we'll do it, it's fine. We'll do it. The whole world, you ever watch New Year's Eve around the world? They always show you like how every country celebrates. It's kind of cool. The first, there's one little island. It's the first place that's actually the place that it's the year. It's a little island in the Pacific. I don't forget what it's called, but the people, they do a little ceremony for New Year's Eve every year. And they just, they just wear grass. Because they don't even have sticks yet. These are, these, they're in the grass age. They have no clocks. But they do a dance. Holy money! Humboha! A 2017! And it goes around the world. Oh, it's a 2017! Death to all Christians in 2017! The Jews are quietly keeping track. It's really 5,766, but that's for us. We're just, uh, that's okay. We're just keeping track for when you snap out of it. It's all right. I'll, I'll write yours on my check. I don't want a problem. <laughs> what about Chinese New Year? Yeah, what about Chinese New Year? All right. Next time you're doing your taxes, just write monkey where the year goes. <laughs> Just put monkey. See what happens to your funds. <laughs> no, it's 2017, year of our Lord. Jesus, he a clock on the nose. And they made it up. That's the weirdest part is they got to rename years that had already taken place. Because you know that's not what those years were. You know that, right? That the year three wasn't the year three during the year three. <laughs> Nobody was walking around back then. Hey, what year is it? It's three. <laughs> yeah, but I'm 28. <laughs> How can I be 28? There's only been three. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, see, you were born in BC 24, and there's a zero. Remember it went backwards? Oh, shit, that was stressful. I hated those years. <laughs> what was that like? What year is it? Ten. What year is it now? Nine. <laughs> the fuck is